everyone, we are in Arlington, Texas for the NARBC. It's gonna be a huge reptile show. We're doing a meet and greet, an adoption event, all sorts of stuff. It's gonna be a great time. We are excited. We've been planning for this for quite a while and I think we are gonna go inside and set up after we unload our rental van. So we're excited to meet everybody and Arlington, Texas, here we come. Look, I drew a kitty cat. Yes, that's what that was <laughs> until I caught you. All right, it is the day of the show and due to a last minute table placement change, we didn't set up yesterday like we normally do, like Friday before the show starts. Uh, we're here at 8.30 a.m. on Saturday, so we have an hour and a half to set up all of our tables and see what we're gonna put where and how we're gonna do a meet and greet. We have a lot of animals with us. These are all pre-adopted. We have four animals over there that are pre-adopted and a bunch that still need homes. So I guess we're just gonna jump right in and get set up. I need to find caffeine and then we'll show you everything we have ready to go. This is chaos. We have stuff everywhere on the tables and we still don't even know where things are gonna go. And we have less than an hour until it starts and I, we have to be in pirate costumes. Okay, back to work. Oh my gosh, I don't know if we're gonna get done in time. Of course, all of our adoptable leopard geckos decided to poop in their containers between when we packed them up and today. But I planned for this by putting paper towels down there instead of the nice black background. So ha, I win. Here's who we have for adoption. We have a bunch of leopard geckos that are part of our adoption program right now. We have Obi-Wan who likes to eat fingers. Yes, you do. I learned that the hard way. We have Catherine who has a regen tail, five gallon bucket, who I'm pretty sure was named because it was the first thing our employee doing intake saw. We have Magic Hook and Tomatoa. We went with a Moana theme. We have Isabella, who's a cutie. Olaf, Gordon Ramsay. I named Gordon Ramsay. I'm going through a Gordon Ramsay phase right now. We have Reddit, Superboy, Twitter, yeah, and a bunch more. The one I'm most interested in is actually 100 Gex because he is going to be part of a video, another video that may have already come out actually. But yeah, we have so many adoptable leopard geckos. Some are smarter than others. Aren't you, Hey Hey? Okay, we're getting there. We have 25 minutes left. On the plus side, we have an awesome line who's already started. Hi guys! Thank you so much for waiting! Okay, now I have to get back to setting up. Gonna sneak behind the scenes here. I need an outlet for my extension cord. I'm gonna explore in this creepy air. Oh, oh perfect! Hopefully these are stable and hopefully this outlet works. Oh, it's an old outlet. I don't know if that's gonna work. My cord, no, come back. Why does this always turn into a knot when I just touch it? Fine, okay, I just need this end anyway. I'm gonna plug in the light and hope that it works. Okay, moment of truth. Please work, please work. Um, Yay, awesome, that outlet does work. Nice, now you can see them all. Yay. All right, so we also have bearded dragons here for adoption. We have eight individuals to choose from. And we have, for example, Couch the bearded dragon. This is Frantic Fran who enjoyed some time on the dash. We've got Bella Swan. We have Tom Nook in there. We figured we'll have two out at a time and then the rest in their travel bins and then they can still be seen, but only two to like kind of reach in and interact with in case they try to escape and I need to keep an eye on them. I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully they all find homes. Okay, sneaking behind the table because I have to change into my pirate costume and there's no time to find a bathroom. So as long as the staff doesn't come back here, I think we're good. Oh geez, I was about to start filming, but that is obviously not on right. Eh, okay. Well, I'm gonna fix that apparently, but also, ta-da! Yes, pirate theme. Oh, I have to show you the pins that we're gonna give out. All right, here are the pins that we're giving away to the first 100 people that are dressed in pirate attire. She's gonna be number one. They are a bearded dragon as a pirate. Ah, I love that design, that's so great. Okay, it is now 10, oh, almost 10 o'clock. So we are gonna get started. Hello, we're open. Thank you so much for waiting. What's your name? I'm Tate. Tate? Yes. Great to meet you. Do you keep reptiles too? I have four. I have 
a leopard gecko named Dune, a bull snake named Mochi, a, a bearded dragon named Marmalade, and then I have a hog that's named Marmalade. Oh my and gosh, that's a And we're going to be getting Grump today. You're getting what today? Grump, the Cali King. Oh, Grump, you're adopting yeah. Grump? Oh my gosh, let me go get Grump. Grump is down here. Grump, I didn't know they were the ones adopting Grump. Oh, where is Grump? I found him. I've got Grump. Oh my gosh. Tate, here is Grump. Thank you. Thank you for adopting him. Yeah, he has escaped multiple times at our facility, so we are glad that he is now being adopted. <laughs> yep, you're welcome. He's your problem now. I don't want him anymore. <laughs> And here is your pirate pin. Thank you. It's a bearded dragon. You're the first one to get one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so our meet and greet line, which hi guys, goes all the way back there and out the hallway and through another hallway. So the showrunner of this event, Bob Ashley, is handing out the pins for us, which is amazing. <laughs> All right, Ethan here has, I think, some of the best pickups from the show so far. What'd you get? Uh, Albino Conda 66% pet lavender. Nice. And then just a straight lavender Conda. Oh my gosh. These are beautiful hog noses. Oh my gosh, and that lavender. Ah! If I just uh, pick this up and take off, maybe, maybe he won't notice. Incredibly talented. Can you show us some of your work here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, black beardy, which is perfect for the design of the pin. And we have got mice that does a snake body good and going hog wild in Texas. That is great. And the bag itself is even another design. Look at this! Greetings from Texas Snake Discovery. I can't. You did that? Yes. You are so talented. Oh my gosh. And I can't. Did I hear right? Are there shirts in there yes. of that design? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, Ed and I are wearing those on this trip for sure. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Athena. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, so we have Isabella the leopard gecko going home. We're going to her new family. Here you are. Are you planning on keeping Il Isabella's name the same or are you gonna change it? Keeping it. You're gonna keep it the same? Awesome. I'll have fun with her. Thank you for adopting her. So it is now 12.30, 12.30, yep. We are grabbing a quick bite to eat, which we wouldn't have had the chance to if it weren't for a couple of amazing fans who offered to go and get Whataburger for us? We've never tried Whataburger. We've even want we like talked about it on the way here. We should try it in this video. But I guess here goes. Do you have anything on yours? Is yours just a patty? It's a cheeseburger. Oh yeah, I got oh. like everything on Oh wow. Nice. Yeah. That looks good too. That's a good burger. That's better than Brahms. Hm. Oh, this is a different video. Vlog video is gonna have us trying other foods. But this show it's is huge insane yeah they say everything is big in texas and it's true including their reptile shows this is like an even bigger line than tinley i would say but we weren't expecting this but it's our first time here it is our first time here that is true oh my gosh thank yeah, you so in the back middle of the show the yep. line goes to the front like where oh you enter gosh. the show thank you so much for waiting as yeah. long as you have everybody who is here i'm and sorry that i'm for back the people who've come up to me and said i'm not going to stand in line to meet emily so here's a gift for you guys really? thank you so much oh yeah. okay i guess i'll see those later but yeah we're gonna quick grab a couple bites and then i'm gonna run out there because the, there's still the meet and greet line yeah. we just asked if they could wait a couple minutes so we could eat because we didn't eat breakfast either you guys are amazing Okay, Cheyenne and Pedro, who we've met before. Oh, from... hey guys. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, we've seen them. Oh, you're paying attention. Yeah, they brought Bucky's stuff last night. Oh, there's, Holy I guess... Moly. A do... Oh a my donut. god. You weren't kidding when you said you brought a donut. Dollar and Don't get half to share. Oh you my gosh. Donut. Yeah, figure it out. Jesus. Awesome. Everything is bigger in Texas. Except Thank you. Except the toilets. Except the toilets. Those are like kids' toilets. <laughs> oh, you can see Emily changing. I totally just <laughs> took my shirt off and changed You it. have a t uh, A tank? You have a tank top. I took that off and oh. changed into this. All right, I didn't see that. There's not many people yeah. here anymore. It's Potter like, was probably spying on you. Probably. Oh, fucking <laughs> uh, It's the end of day one. And Which was like 
nine, ten hours of straight. Oh yeah. my gosh. This... Sorry for the one fan that we told them no after they tried to jump in line when we had cut it off. Because, like, the show closed, so we had to move what was left of our line to the lobby, and then we had to finish the line out there. So I didn't want to just, like, blow people off. But when we were out there, whoever was in line, we put a... Me. We put Ed, me there. And at the end to say, sorry, we can't take any more because we're already closed for the day, or the show is. And so we finished the line, came back in here. All the vendors are gone. Yeah, we, it's empty. Yeah. Do you want any animals? Uh, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. Kidding, kidding. kidding. Uh, so we stayed a little bit late, but now we're just cleaning up our stuff. Yeah. And Apparently I, we're moving spots tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if the vendors were very happy with our yeah. meet and greet line, which was uh, I was kind of worried about Constant that. all the way down to those doors, yeah. slash that way. It was insane. So I think we're moving somewhere else tomorrow. So we're going to get caffeinated again. Yeah, we have to bring our amazing gifts oh my and God. stuff and stuff and animals that were dropped off for Adoption Island slash our collection um, so back to happen. the hotel. So yeah. I guess let's do that. Let's do that, okay. Alright, so behind me is the traditional NARBC auction on Saturday night where all of the vendors or many of the vendors donate something from their table. We donated some shirts. All the proceeds that are gained from the auction are all donated to um, US Art, which is an organization that fights for our rights in the United States to keep reptiles as pets. They fight legislation changes to add new rules and laws against keeping them. So they're a really good organization to support if you don't already but yeah we're we donated some things and let's see how the auction goes we were 1,000 1,000 once twice so Kim Bell thank you very much uh, somebody added a message to the back of our van. All right, let's see how many messages we can. Think there'll be more? There might. We'll it, see. It'd be great. You want to explain why I have a cart full of stuff? It's day two and we're in here by ourselves. Nobody else is here. All the tables are covered up. This is. I've always wondered what it looked like, like in between the days when all the vendors' tables were covered up. So yesterday was amazing. It was so busy. But because it was so busy, because of you guys, the showrunners are now moving us to the lobby area so that we don't block vendors' tables anymore. So I think it's a great idea to move up front, but also hilarious that you guys are causing us to move. So we are here on day two before anybody comes in to pack up all our stuff. And I guess this means you get to enjoy a second setting up our tables hyperlapse and if you're lucky maybe we'll have time to kind of sneak in here to interview a couple vendors hopefully I don't know we'll I see. mean that's part of the video so we have to figure out some kind of filming of the show we have to do that so. we haven't left this little this aisle back there to like where that mat is we haven't left this aisle since yesterday no. except to sleep I haven't seen any vendor tables except for what's in the peripheral from right <laughs> yeah you got a good good uh, view of Vivtex yeah I didn't even see the animals on this table but anyway it's been a crazy show so we're going to go set up our new tables. Cart cam for empty show. Being in here by myself. Nobody else can look at Timberline. Ooh, ARS, we know them. And Pangea. Oh, there's Tom Harbin. It's just me, all by myself. here with Tom Harbin from Tom Harbin Reptiles and you might recognize the name because Tom actually sent us the sunburst hognose snake that we recently acquired who's eating very well Good. he's growing great he's, Good. he's beautiful Good. Good. so thank you again for him You're we, more than welcome. we love him but we're excited to have the opportunity to kind of interview you here at the Arlington show so yeah, I appreciate it first things first what brought you to hognose snakes you know interestingly enough I'm a veterinarian oh, yep. and the very first lavender that was ever hatched had some problems and the owner called me and asked me did I know anything about snakes I said well I might <laughs> and so it was one of my patients and I was able to rehab it back to breeding ability and okay. from that snake that's where all the lavenders we have today came from you worked on it. I did. That's crazy. Because yes, we breed lavenders now too. Yeah, so that's yeah, wow. All yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so that that really brought me in. Okay, that drew you into the to the hog noses. What's your favorite morph that you currently work with? Without a doubt, the sunburst family. Really? So yes. the sable albino? Sable albino. Gotcha. <laughs> I was lucky enough to start off with the extreme red albinos instead of the yellow albinos. Nice. <laughs> and so made my sunburst and then I made the solar flare, which is the conversion okay. of the um, sunburst. I was the first one to do that, so I named the solar flare. So 
Adler Flair is Conda Albino Sable? Absolutely. Okay. All three. Okay. <laughs> um, and then last year, I was fortunate enough to be able to make the Super Conda version of the Sunburst. Oh my gosh. Which I call the Solar Storm. Oh, nice. There so you go. Just staying in the whole family. Sunburst, Solar Flare, Solar Storm. Oh, I got you. Okay. That makes sense. I oh, love yeah. it. I did yeah. not realize you had originated that or had created that one initially. That was me. So I guess one last question for you here. Um, if somebody watching has a picky baby hognose snake at home, do yeah. you have a tip yeah. for them at all? I do. Uh, two things. I keep all of my babies in the sandwich tub rack that JPM Reptilia sells. You know, How big is I, that? Yeah, it's, it's just it's I mean, small not then. much okay, better yeah. than a, a loaf of bread slice. Okay, yep. And so I keep them pretty hot at the back, 92, 93. Wow, okay. I pile short pieces of PVC pipe in the cage and they eat. I get really 95% of my babies to eat on the first huh. meal if I do that. So they like a smaller enclosure with a lot of PVC piping. A lot of hide. That makes sense. Okay, the, the yeah. The more crowded, the happier they are. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Ah, fun, fun, <laughs> fun. I just wanted to say a thank you to you and Ed oh, and Snake I'm Discovery. Y'all have done more for this industry slash no. hobby than anybody in many, oh. many years. So thank you. Oh, that means a lot. Thank you. It means yeah. a lot coming from Tom Harvin. Oh wow. my gosh. <laughs> thank you. We're, um, all, we're all family. Yes, we are. Thanks for your time too. Thank um, you. If people want to learn more, find your hognose snakes online. Absolutely. Where is there a place Morph they can market. go? Morph, Morph market? market. Okay, perfect. And you Morph do a market. lot of these shows too. So. I do. I'm in most, cool. most if not all the major shows and a few smaller ones. Great. Yep. Well, thank you again. Thank you. Have a good show. All right, y'all too. All right, thank you. I'm here with Chris from Epic Style, who breeds a variety of different reptiles, but specializes in Lichianus yes. geckos. So first I've got to ask, why lychees? Um, so it all started from wanting to get one, but it ended up, wasn't the right time, right situation. We had it for a week for a friend, so I ended up holding it. Me and my son, we got it out almost every day in that week time, and by the time we went to drop it off. I'm like, oh man, we really should have bought this 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 gecko. Aww. Like it is so, it was so cool, so different. Hadn't owned too many gecko species at the time. So then you fast forward like mm, two weeks. I found two online for sale from uh, Reptozilla Conomacrites. Ended up purchasing two of my first babies that I had ever owned there. And then within that time, the first year I had like seven. The next year I had like close to 20. Wow. And then this is going into our third year of having them. And we have close to like 65. Babies or uh, Including everything together. Like we have, we have 13 pairs. Wow. Um, we have so, uh, a lot of our juveniles that we bought that first year are very close to being um, being ready for breeding okay. next year. Yep. But all together we're pretty close to the babies, adults, holdbacks, all stuff. Huh. Around 65 geckos or so. So. Now I know lychees are known for breeding difficulties. They can't, yeah, no. Because females will kill the males sometimes, right? right? No, I, I've had some friends and heard those four stories of females being a little bit more aggressive. My little tip or trick or in that part, I put them together during the day, go down, check on them quite frequently, and then at night I'll sit down there for a little bit in the basement so I can hear, make sure that things are going well. Once I finally go to bed, first thing when I get up, I'll go back and check on them. Also, you kind of hear that they are um, they can be aggressive just in nature, that they're they're cage aggressive. So I've sometimes people, people are timid to hold them or check them out, but they're a really fascinating animal. Like if you were to open the cage up and see it, um, and you wait and wait and wait, you're building your, your nervousness up. Right. But then you're gonna build its nervous. So like if somebody came in here and took the roof off this place real quick, you'd be kind of nervous too. Like, <laughs> yeah. and if there's a hand hesitating to come in and grab right. you, so you I, look like a I predator. I just kind of tell people like, just once you see it, grab it. If it's on the wall, the side of the glass, whatever, just grab it. Or if it's on a piece of cork, that's the easiest. You just take the whole piece of cork out yep. of out of the enclosure, and then after that, they're just like any other a leopard gecko or something. They're just gonna scurry along, go up your arm, go up your hand. As they get bigger, they don't jump as often. Your babies are more of your jumpers, but yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, leeches are amazing animals. I am curious what your favorite favorite animal on your table overall is though. Favorite animal? Because you have leopard geckos, you've got I think king snakes? Um, I have some king snakes, I have some corn snakes. Hopefully next year at this time I'm going to have some some uh, bull snakes that we're going to produce. Oh, nice, we love um, those. I would say probably favorite is going to be this Chihua down here. Oh really? Just because it's, it's got a lot of attention this weekend. Okay. Um, just with its colors that it has. It's a lot of crimson with green and so his, his nickname is Chewbacca. We're kind of nice. kind of phasing out some Chihuahuas to, re, to get some, uh, some bigger GT lychees and okay. some melanistic ones. Nice. Um, he's got a lot of attention on Friday and Saturday here at the show. That is a beautiful <laughs> Chihuahua for sure. <laughs> well, if people want to check out your variety of reptiles and specialty of lychees, where can they go? Um, so you can first find us on Morph Market. That's a okay. easy, very easy site. Our Facebook, Instagram, it's Epic Style LLC. Um, 
any hashtag on Facebook or Instagram is going to be why not reptiles because why wouldn't you want a reptile? Uh, <laughs> what a great slogan. Um, and then our, our website is also uh, whynotreptiles.com. Great. Well, thank you so much. I hope no, you have a good show. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was great meeting you guys. <laughs> hope you guys have a great weekend. Safe trip back to Minnesota. Thank you. Yeah. It is five to 10 minutes past 11. We just filmed everything we needed, well, most of everything we needed in the show. Oh, Emily is over there doing meet and greet and we have a huge line. So day two has kicked off. Okay, it's the last hour of the show. We could keep doing meet and greet, but we yeah. had to stop it because yes. we're so sorry guys, we have to buy stuff for our store. We haven't had a chance to walk through this uh, show. Oh, yeah. That's okay. why you're supposed to wear your lanyards. Yeah, we left our lanyards at the table and we almost didn't get allowed back in, but yeah. we're good. Okay, we have to buy all the animals we need for our store. And, and all look the... through this, this uh, show one time. Yeah, we haven't seen anything no, yet. No, we haven't seen anything. So let's see what we can find. <laughs> show yes it was the whole weekend was crazy i think you ca you calculated 13 or 14 hours of like straight meet and greet yeah it was <laughs> so much fun but it was very exhausting yes so we are tired. i got to meet a bunch of people who didn't want to stand in line to meet you that's right so i met you instead yeah <laughs> so we both had meet and greet lines we did just insane um this emily's in a onesie this is explained in our vlog video from this trip, which a snake got loose in the hotel room. My purse was stolen. Exciting things happened in the vlog video. Yeah. So Emily check turned that out. into Bucky. I turned into Bucky. Yeah, it's been an eventful trip to yeah. say the least. So to end this video or this show video, I think we're going to first show and thank all you guys for the amazing gifts you gave yeah. us throughout the meeting. We and have meet. a whole bed full. Look of at gifts. this. There's so like, much. That's insanity. Stuff. Like, is, uh, this amazing wood carving that's probably going to get hung up in our office. There's a basket full of road there's snacks. some sweet, like, Doritos. Yeah. And other... Wow. These are apparently mine. Oh, there we go. Yeah. If you ever want Ed to get something and not Emily, just make it spicy. <laughs> She'll never eat it. You'll see true. in the yeah. vlog with Torchy's Tacos. Yep. Good point. <laughs> Somebody 3, 3D printed Cubone Nice. As, as hides. Yeah, so cool. There's a new uh, pop that we have to try. We got like 10 of these. <laughs> we have beaver nuggets for life. Yeah. We have so many beaver nuggets. It's like somebody who's like, they need a lifetime supply of beaver nuggets. Yeah, we're going to come up with recipes. <laughs> yeah, our fans pulled through. Oh my gosh, you guys are so thoughtful, so generous. And... I didn't know they made like caramel ones. Yeah. I think there's a white cheddar one in here. That one's oh. good. I've had that one. The white cheddar. That one's delicious. There's like Bunch a of mug. Other stuff. Buggy's, There's Buggy's mug. Buggy, Buggy's chocolates. That's gonna be a road snack. Espresso beans. Yes. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff. I didn't even see this. What's this? They got us uh, Bucky's sticker and some chocolates and some coffee. I think you got two or three of those coffee houses from Bucky's. Coffee houses? Or coffee like oh, house coffee. Yes. I can't wait. I think I've had. Have I had this yet? I think you have. Maybe once, yeah. It's been a long time though, but now I'm restocked up on coffee. Oh my gosh, there's even some amazing art too, which I'm really excited about. This is a homemade lavender hog nose. Aww. Isn't that cool? That's amazing. Yeah. And look at this art too. This is only some of the art that we were given during the show. Just, you guys are so oh, talented. Sweet. Isn't that cute? That's awesome. Yeah, that okay. one was for you. I was gonna go right behind my desk. Yep, there okay. you go. Look at this watercolor painting of Rex. Aww. That's incredible. You guys are so talented. She looks a lot more dangerous in that photo. You think? Yeah, she's got a lot of those sharp edges. Oh, yeah, and she's in like a swamp. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's wild Rex, where she belongs. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I don't know what to say. You guys are... Amazing. 
Too nice. Look, there's mugs over there, too. Yeah, there's Bucky mugs. Oh, my Ooh, gosh. And this one. A there's lot of stuff. Yeah, there. that's mine, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. I just saw that last yeah. night. That's a sweet plush. He's yeah. missing. Oh, no. His eyes just under his, arm, <laughs> under his brow there. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Like, I, I was not that's... expecting that turnout for meet and greet. Yeah, neither was I. Just crazy. Thank you. I wish we could show every single thing, but then this might turn into like an hour and a half long video. It's true. So you know who you are if you gave us something, and we so appreciate it. Every little bit of it. Um, I think next we're going to show you the animals we're going home with from this show. First and foremost, we're going home with four amazing new hognose snakes that were gifted to us by Margie, who was unable to keep them any longer. So these are incredible hognoses, guys, and I think you're going to see why in just a second. Let's start here. This she also gave us a Doom Rules bow and two ball pythons for Adoption Island. So. Yes, yes. And those we'll be able to find amazing homes for. We're just not going to show them in this video yep. because they're part of Adoption Island. This one, is it Akame? A-K-A-M-A? -A -A? E is the it's, name? They're all anime names. Oh, are they really? Yep. Nice. This is a beautiful exanthic girl, and she is possibly het toffee belly. She, oh, she is uh, about two years old, so she's actually growing really well. And yeah, she's on Frozen Thawed. Um, nice exanthic girl that we can add to our breeding program. Mm -hmm. Next, we got Mirage, uh, the anaconda male. Yeah. What is he? Also het. Uh, he is um, Het Lavender, that's right. Oh, oh this yep. is the male that is Het Lavender. So this is going to be a future breeder. Actually, um, hopefully this year yeah, breeder Yeah, he can of ours. breed this year. He's already big enough. Yeah, I guess I, I was talking to Tom Harbin after we interviewed him, and he was saying that with lavenders and with a lot of genes, actually, you have better results in offspring if you breed a Het to a visual. So a Het Lavender to a visual lavender. I mean, it makes sense. You're getting the genetic diversity yeah, of at least yeah. one spread out, so hopefully. That, that could be why our lavender lavender to lavender pairing last year didn't really produce any babies, but I the bet... lavender to head did? No, I bet it was just bad pairing for Maybe, them. maybe, it could be. Because but... you still get some. We got, like, nothing from That's them. true, yeah. But regardless, this is a condomorph, and yeah. he is head lavender. He's apparently a little spitfire when he's warmed up, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Look at his tail. Yeah, he's definitely well endowed. Yeah. Look at that tail. Oh, well, yeah, that, too. But look at, it's like oh, a split. I... I thought you were talking about the <laughs> No, I see what you have on your mind, though. <laughs> yeah, this is Mirage. She is beautiful. Can't wait to breed him this year, hopefully. And yeah. And I think they're all from, like, different breeders. So they're all unrelated? So these two are from Travis Whistler. These two are from completely different breeders. Okay. That's really uh, nice, though. Yeah, it is. And then here we have uh, Neri, N-E-R-I. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. We're going to keep their names, Aww. of course. She is an albino het lavender. So, Aww, lavender albino we could maybe make. I can't remember what that one's called, actually. That morph, but yeah, it's just amazing snake right here. Like this, this girl. She's not big enough to breed quite yet. Give her another year. Yeah, though, all, the, all the females need about another year. Yeah, and that's fine. We'll just keep them for a yep. year, kind of beef them up, and, or grow them up a little bit. And she can make some lavender babies for Cutie. us, too. Cutie. Oh, ah, look at that face. Yeah. And then finally we have Rem. Okay, so Rem is the one that she's a super arctic, head albino. The story was with her is she noticed that before feeding, she started having like almost spasms. There's a weird video. She's going to send it to you. Okay, perfect. But it almost looked like when our hog or when our garter snake, when we didn't feed it, like when it was having neurological the vitamin B yep. deficiency. Oh, That's almost what it looked like and all their vets couldn't really all she brought them to four vets mm -hmm. and none of them could really figure out what it was. So oh. Oh, hi, have, sweetheart. We are going to have to kind of pay attention to her and maybe just use her as an ambassador animal. Yeah, if she's got something neurological, then maybe we... Yeah, it looks like her head might be moving. It's moving a little differently than the others. So, yeah, if she's got something neurological going on, we probably won't breed her. Yeah, it almost looks like a little bit of stargazing there. Yeah. Okay, but she's a beautiful girl, and she yeah. can just be a great ambassador snake She eats for well, us. and apparently after she eats, she has less neurological issues. Interesting. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, wow. Well, this is the super arc gene which is a uh, it's an incomplete dominant gene and it really just kind of reduces that background color makes it more of a white it usually also adds some black outlines to the splotches so you get that contrast of black and white which makes them really pretty yeah i can definitely see something neurological yeah she wasn't doing this as much the day of hi but... sweetheart oh hi it's okay so i mean when you breed these more sometimes weird side effects come out and when they do you just don't breed those individuals so yeah 
You are going to be a wonderful... <laughs> are you sassy? <laughs> oh, don't touch my head. Oh, hi, Rem. Can you be an ambassador animal? We might have to play around with you and see if you're okay with that. But yeah, those are the... These are the hog noses we're bringing home from Margie. And here is a millipede that we're also yeah. bringing home. Remember when we picked up those two female millipedes? Yes, we found a male. We got a male. Yes. Hooray. And for only $100, which is yeah. really cheap for one of these. For our store, we won't spend much time on these, but we needed a couple things for our store so we were able to pick up from josh's frogs some nice pac-man frogs got there's a another one right strawberry there. pineapple strawberry pineapple and another strawberry pineapple yeah. they wouldn't sell us the uh the flame the or whatever it yeah, was the yeah high the red. high red that's what it was <laughs> they wanted to keep that to sell retail price yeah. which makes sense so we just <laughs> took the ones they wanted to wholesale and yep, that's fine sense. with us we also bought some corn snakes actually some really pretty corn snakes look at the difference at the bottom of that one What's this one down here? Oh, That's it is. another Pac-Man frog. All right, cool. Just another albino. Okay, yep. <laughs> but yeah, look at the difference between these two. There's like, uh, this is the coral snow, and this is just a snow. So you can kind of see the coral brings in, it brings out a lot of pink coloration. Yep. Does it on camera? It, I mean, you can see a lot more white over here, but yeah, you can see the pinks in the heads and okay. in the head. Yeah, this is like a pink snake, which is really cool. So I'm just going to like just, I don't know, put these out here quick, spread them around. Then you can see all the different corn snakes we're going home with, but these are for our store, so, so we're So if not anybody gonna... is in the St. Paul area and wants a corn snake. We got some pretty cool ones. Got them now. Yeah. yeah. Up until now, we've only had adult corn snakes in Adoption Island, and sometimes people come in wanting a baby that they can yep. raise up. So Makes sense. This was one of our goals to pick up from the show. Yep. Pretty sure that's everything. I think that's everything. I'm ready. Even though I just got a full night's sleep, I'm ready to go back to bed. Yeah, I didn't sleep much last night with the whole purse stealing thing, so yeah. you'll learn more about that soon in our next video, our vlog video from this trip. But yeah, overall, it was an amazing adventure down to Texas. A great show incredible turnout couldn't believe the meet and greet yeah. line that was insane and it was such a joy to meet all of you guys i do want to thank my stepdad phil for helping us out all weekend we flew him down there to help with transactions and customer service stuff and he really rocked it the entire weekend so yep. thank you phil we couldn't have done this without you also thank you patreon backers for your amazing support as always and thank you to people who adopted animals at yes. the event we're only going home with one bearded dragon one beardy yeah and she'll find a home i'm sure oh yeah too. so it was a very Especially successful if we, adoption if we make her known in this video yes somebody please Aww. adopt bella swan bella swan she yeah. She's so lonely. She needs a home. There's no one to love her. Yeah. She'll find a home yeah. eventually. We gave her a nice warm bath yesterday yeah. and she ate tons of crickets. Yeah, so. she, she's eating all the leftover bugs that we yeah. brought, so she's quite happy actually right now. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys. Thank you everybody who came by and got stuff from our table and supported us and gave us stuff. Yeah, you did not have to give us Jeez. stuff, guys. <laughs> We're barely able to fit it in our van. Yeah. You gave us so much we stuff. We sold a we lot of shirts. <laughs> And then we're like, oh, I'm glad we sold a lot of shirts because uh, yeah. <laughs> if we hadn't sold as many shirts no. as we did, we wouldn't be able to. We would have found something. Yeah, oh yeah. But we would have set up a Bucky's stand and sold things <laughs> for. Uh... <laughs> there we go. That's what we would have done. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for helping make this an amazing trip to Arlington. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye, Bella. Bye, Bella Swan. All right, I'm going to go back to bed. Okay.